know, the arrival itself hasn't, hasn't changed too much, like where I park or things like that. But as you get in the hospital, you, you guys will notice things have changed a little bit here. I don't know if it's scary coming to work, um, but it's definitely scarier being at work. This is a, a medical surgical unit. And so, for example, a COVID patient who was at home and he became more short of breath and um, they needed some supplementary oxygen and we were afraid of decompensation with them uh, would be cared for on a unit like this. So here, coming up, and we're going to see a 76-year-old patient um, who was on our team for about three or four days in the medical surgical unit before she uh, unfortunately decompensated and had to go to the intensive care unit. Uh, luckily, um, she fought her way through the intensive care unit and made her way back out and is, uh, is doing well now. Good morning. Hey, you. How are you feeling this morning? We've been working at getting the lines and tubes off of you. So we've done okay. You're really a success story, and, and uh, you know you should feel feel good about things. Okay? She looks appropriately exhausted, um, but uh, she's getting better, and, and uh, we continue to work on uh, what I call shedding ICU jewelry, lines and tubes, and, and things like that. No, I wouldn't say immediately. You know, I think um, a couple weeks after that second dose. I'm going to feel much more confident, but uh, I think um, as far as I've read, it, it's going to take some time after the second dose until we can have real confidence in it. It's, it's, it's strangely one of the big things that, that wears on you is to, to put this on and to, to be cognizant of, of how you're doing it um, over and over and over again. So this was, um, this was one of our success stories. And um, there are a lot of patients that, that take what we call the COVID dive and, and decompensate. Um, you know, patients that run two liters all of a sudden uh, go, go south and, and, and need a higher level of care. But this patient's heading home today and, uh, and she's, she's excited to head home and, and, and we're excited for her. Um.